Welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. Today guys I'm going to show you how the basics of 3D text in After Effects work. So what I've went ahead and done so far is simply imported my footage which is in the description below so you guys can use it. It is not made by me. I grabbed it for free off of YouTube and all I did was simply type in camera over here and then simply drag my 3D camera tracker onto my footage. I did go ahead and make my track point size a little bit smaller. I clicked on render track points and currently my target area is a little bit too big so I'm going to go ahead and bring that down to about 30% to make that smaller as well. Now what I want to do is find three track points that are in a flat area just like you see here. Once I've selected those I can right click and go to create text and camera and as you'll see there a text layer instantly goes onto my screen. I'm going to go ahead and type in PFL Tuts. I'll go ahead and make this a hair smaller just like that. I'm then going to go down here to the text options, I'm sorry, the transform options and I simply want to adjust my rotation here on the X scale until it is standing as you can see it is here. And that's really all there is to it guys. Now you will see as I scrub through my footage here that the text stays right there on screen even though it's really wobbly and shaky. So the only thing that's left for me to do at this point is to simply go ahead and I want to move this to the center as you can see here. And that will allow me to keep the footage going nice and smooth just like that to where I walk right past it. Now this could be used for something like an intro etc. So I'm going to go ahead and go to new adjustment layer and I'm simply going to throw on some of Magic Bullet looks and I'm going to go ahead and wait till that loads up. It's only going to take a second. I'll go over here to edit. I gotta allow access for this. My bad that I had that recording. So I'll click on edit and then Magic Bullet looks will actually load up onto the screen as soon as it is done processing everything. It can take a couple seconds sometimes. Now that Magic Bullet Looks has loaded up, you can go over here to Looks and they give you a bunch of pre-used or pre-made uh, rather different looks that you can go with. And you can see here that we can click on any of these that we like the look of. I happen to like this one called Cure and I'm just going to hit Finished and that's then going to apply to my footage. I'm then going to click back on Render Track Points and take that off. That way when I'm on my shot it won't be there. I'm then going to go back to my effects and presets and type in ratio and I know that I want to go ahead and drag this one in here. It'll make it look a lot more professional and as you guys can see here once I render this out it's going to look really really killer as you can see. Now the camera does have a lot of shake in it and stuff like that and that's why the text has a tendency to kind of drift slightly but honestly After Effects does a really great job considering the fact that this footage is so wobbly and we could go in and stabilize the footage and do all that work but for this simple tutorial I didn't really want to get into all of that so I think that this looks really good for what it is and you guys should enjoy it as much as I do. So as you can see here this is the intro part here and you can do things like add more text uh, something like you know going up to the PFL Tuts part like we are PFL Tuts or you know something like that and really just make it awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson on creating 3D text in After Effects with camera tracking. If you did be sure to subscribe to the channel and also guys be sure to like the video because it really does help us out and also guys be sure to share us with your friends that way we can get as many people known to our channel as possible. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go down through here and simply adjust the opacity of my text a little bit, make it slightly more realistic for the scene, and that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.